we need to change our attitude towards energy and especially moving away from the, the safe but dirty fossil fuels that has been entrenched in our energy mix. We're competing with an industry that's been around for more than five decades, even a century, in a sense of oil, coal, etc. Those industries are well established. Those industries were subsidized uh, at, at, at the beginning stages to get them going. And now we're actually facing uh, the need to now actually subsidize and invest to get this sector going. What we need to do, we need to take far more care of our planet. Um, there's far too much waste. There's far too many people that are ignorant about the fact and too little is done. We have become a society that's virtually too large for our own planet. Well, there's more than enough evidence to support that we are outstripping our resources at a very fast rate, and this is not going to sustain us in the future. Many, many people out there actually feel that we do not need to debate subsidies and feed-in tariffs and some of these technologies. They will just happen, and it will happen within the next 10 years. When all of these renewable energy technologies reach what we call grid parity, that is where it becomes just as cheap or expensive, depending on how you look at it, to produce energy or electricity from renewables as with the conventional fuels. I think technology is probably playing a huge role, but I have to say that I think it's probably people are going to come first, because without people's mind shifts, uh, the technology is not ever going to happen. BASF. We create chemistry.